the belt and disk sander is not a do-all machine. By that, it means it's not a do-everything machine. You shouldn't come over here to try to grind off two or three inches of wood. You should cut large materials of wood off and only use the belt and disk sander to grind and even out a small amount of wood. While the power is off, you want to check the tables, uh, make sure the belt or disc is in play, proper place, and anything, if the belt's torn or worn, um, that would be an indication not to use that. Stand only pieces that are of a safe size. By safe, you don't want your finger being any closer than one inch to the belt or disc. If you have to be too close, you want to use a file or hand sandpaper. So all stock needs to be held in contact with the table and belt or table and disc at the same time. So you would hold the piece of wood down. You wouldn't want to be free handing, uh, sanding while the, it's up in the air. The belt moves down and that could obviously pull your piece of wood down onto the table. This is the disc sander. The disc sander rotates counterclockwise, which means the opposite of the way a clock turns. So this side is moving down towards the table and this side is moving up. That's going to pull this piece of wood up if you're sanding and a number of people have, I've been told, gotten their front teeth knocked out because they're sanding on this side and it kicks up and hits them in the teeth or mouth. This side has yellow and black tape showing you that it is not the correct side to use. The left side that rotates down towards the ground is not marked off with yellow and black tape. That indicates that that's the side we should be using. When using the belt and disc sander, it is important to use the dust collector. The dust collector is a very large vacuum system that sucks up the sawdust created by the belt and disc sander and other machines in the workshop. To turn the dust collector on, there's a start button and a stop button. The start button will obviously start the dust collector up. To turn the dust collector off, simply press the stop button. The disc sander, same operation. I'm going to turn on the dust collector. Turn on the machine. The right side, you do not use. 